It was about six to seven years ago. I went to an old movie store on the street corner. Me and my friends were all into Dragon Ball Z at the time. So when I seen a Dragon Ball Z tape, I naturally grabbed it. It just pictured the normal cast, Goku, Piccolo, Krillin, Gohan, Vegeta, Tian, Chaozu, and a very faded Yamcha. I thought nothing of it. Maybe just the picture got worn a little. I purchased it and headed on home. I invited a few of my close friends to watch it with me. I popped it in, and the normal music and intro played. Again though, at the end of it, Yamcha was very faded among the cast, and his eyes were different. A very faded dark red tint to them. Me and my friends were weirded out, but we continued to watch. The episode was titled A Grave Revenge. We never heard that one, so we assumed it's some lost episode or something. The episode started. It took place after Boo had been defeated since they were talking about how tough he was to defeat. Probably some boring dialogue episode. Then Krillin came back from Otherworld to greet the, the others. I remember Goku asking, I thought Yamcha was with you. Krillin responded, I lost him with everyone in shock. I remember Goku asking or something, then the video went black. I kept hitting play but nothing. Then I heard screams similar to those of the cast. The picture came back with everyone mangled, left crawling away as Vegeta, Yamcha's voice, was heard in a very demonic way. Oh look, the prince is scared. Then Vegeta dropped. I went to shut off the tape, but he said it. There's no running from me. Me and my friends panicked. How can something this foolish be happening? It doesn't seem real. The screen on the TV started to drip with blood. It stained our floor. He appeared on the screen, dark red eyes, pale as a ghost. The TV shut off. We calmed down and turned on the lights. They shut off immediately. The TV started flashing. With every flash, more blood spilt from the TV. We were horrified. We calmed down and turned on the lights. They shut off immediately. The TV started flashing. With every flash, more blood spilt from the TV. We were horrified. What was this? Some haunted tape? This cannot be real. This has to be a dream. How can a tape do this? I ejected the tape and it stopped. There was something written on the tape. Good night. My friends quickly left my house, leaving me with this tape. Alone in the dark, my lights refused to work. Then I sat and thought about Yamcha. I always made fun of him, even in Dragon Ball where he had some relevance. I trashed on him, but what? I angered a fictional character? What the hell is this? I went outside. My friends were standing there. They decided they would stand by me. I took the tape, spit on it, and chucked it into the sewer. My friends stayed the night. We slept well. Then I heard static coming from the living room. My TV was off. How is this even possible? I looked over quick at my friends. They were all pale and cold to the touch. They were dead. I screamed aloud. This is not real. This is just some nightmare. His voice echoed. No. <laughs> this is 
my revenge. I ran into the bathroom and locked my door. Then I looked into the, my mirror. My reflection turned into him. It shattered. A shard flew into my eye. I screamed in pain. Suddenly, I awoke. I was laying down in the hospital. I was hit by a car when I left the store. I looked to the table beside me. There the tape sat. The same faded picture. I took that tape and threw it out the window. A week later, there was a news story. Three teens had committed suicide after watching that tape. The news refused to release the image that drove the teens into suicide. I looked online for a description at least. There was the description of pale Yamcha with dark red bleeding eyes standing above a dead collection of characters. If you enjoyed this and would like to hear more stories like these, please go to www.youtube.com slash the voice of nightmares. Don't forget to give my video a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more content. Also, you can follow me now on social media sites such as Twitter, Mr. Creepypasta Amino, Creepypasta Amino, Creepypasta Wiki, and Instagram. Last but not least, all stories, art, and music are owned by their respective authors. Links are available in the description below.